If you have an accounting gain that increases the carrying value of an asset, but is not subject to current tax, then you're opening up a taxable temporary difference because the carrying value of the asset will exceed the tax base because the tax base is not going to increase because it's not the gain is not subject to current tax. So therefore you're going to set up a deferred tax liability. So let me make sure we recap on those three key terms. You've got an accounting gain, which has led to a taxable temporary difference, which is therefore giving you a deferred tax liability. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Because if you have an accounting loss, an impairment loss or losses carried forward, for which you're not getting immediate tax relief, the carrying value of your asset decreases, but the tax base of the asset remains the same because the taxman is not giving you tax relief on immediate tax relief on the loss. So therefore you've got a deductible temporary difference because the carrying value of the asset is now smaller than the corresponding tax base and therefore you've got a deferred tax asset. So let me just link those three phrases together. You've got an accounting loss, which creates a deductible temporary difference, which therefore gives you a deferred tax asset. So remember, accounting gain, taxable temporary difference, deferred tax liability, but an accounting loss creates a deductible temporary difference and therefore creates a deferred tax asset. Deferred tax in under two minutes.